What is going on YouTube? Welcome back. We got a movie review this time and we're going to be talking about Jumanji Next Level. Now I'm going to be playing the trailer as I'm talking about the movie itself because I think it demonstrates some of the key scenes that I want to talk about regardless. Um, so why are they going back into this world? What's the excuse this time around? Does Danny DeVito and Danny Glover play a good enough role? Does it make sense? Does it tie into the series? And let me tell you guys, it does and it goes into its own direction. And I love this movie for that. Never in a million years did I ever expect for there to be a new Jumanji, a sequel, a follow-up that has the same concept as the original one with Robin Williams, which we all know and love. And I just never imagined loving this series. And after watching this one right here, let me tell you guys, uh, Dwayne Johnson uh, playing Danny DeVito. And then you got Kevin Hart playing Danny Glover. I'm just, I'm telling you guys, it was outstanding. The comedic timing between these two guys stole the show, stole the show. And then Jack Black playing the young football player. I thought was outstanding as well. Jack Black in the in the second one, which is the first one of this new series, Jack Black uh, played uh, Bethany, the the girl. Uh, in this one, he not only plays the the football player, but he also plays as Bethany at some point in time in the movie. Um, and I'm not going to spoil it why, but point is that it shows the di the diversity, uh, and it shows the the range. Um, that and the potential that this movie can possibly have and and let me tell you guys i absolutely love it i love it so much i can't wait to watch it again i'm definitely picking this up as soon as it comes out i thought every scene um had a good sense of adventure uh, a great sense of comedy i feel like it, it it just tied in so well and it didn't feel forced it didn't feel like it was just a cash grab it didn't feel like uh, a movie that was completely rushed or anything like that, even though even though um, the movie could have always improved on certain elements. Um, let me tell you guys like that scene right there, man, had me dying, even though the trailer reveals some good points of the movie. Um, it doesn't ruin it, you know, and that's that's what I was scared about with this movie. When I went into it, I was like, man, what if the trailer is better than the movie? That happens sometimes with comedies where the trailer gives gives up a little too much of the film. But let me tell you, the trailer itself doesn't spoil anything. Um, it just reveals that, you know, basically the main essentials that The Rock is going to be Danny DeVito and that Kevin Hart is going to be Danny Glover. And I just thought they were great in their own uh, in in each uh, of their own roles or whatever. And the kids, man, I think the kids deserve a little more airtime. Um, and I can't wait to see where this franchise goes. Uh, I think they might end it with the one that follows this one. But let me tell you, uh, uh, Dwayne Johnson, aka The Rock, and Kevin Hart, and the girl they pick, which I can't remember her name, and Jack Black. I mean these. These characters can live on forever. They can come back and do this role over and over and over. And it could be different kids, different people, different excuses as to how they get caught up into the game. This can be done over and over. And I feel like they set themselves up uh, like they're in good position um, because they can keep the, the series fresh, you know. And that's what I felt with this movie. I felt this fresh, authentic comedy. Um, and then the adventure is just like, it's a nice add-on to the whole, you know, the whole series, the whole story, everything that's going on. It's, it's just, it's crazy to me. I just never imagined I would sit here, do this review, upload this video, and praise this movie for taking this series to literally the next level. I know it's called the next level, but... They did that on purpose. After watching the movie, I laughed so hard because I looked at my wife and I'm like, this is really the next level because it was the next level of comedy, the next level of adventure, um, and just the next phase for these young uh, these young kids that just got out of high school. I just feel like they, they handled these characters with great respect. Um, the only thing that kind of sucks is that I get why they can't really reference robin williams character too much i get why they can't um 
you know, they don't want to CGI him. They they want to pay as much respect as they can to the first. Um, and they have. They have. There's ties in this one to the original. There's ties in the, in the, in the one before this one to the original as well. They even mention him. Um, and I think that's a cool, subtle way to do it. Uh, because to be honest, they've paid so much respect overall um, to the series as a whole, what it means to people, and 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 the fact that it comes around, uh, comes out around the holidays, and it's a good movie to watch with your family and friends. Um, I just feel like this movie checks off everything uh, from the checklist, you know. Um, I don't know. Uh, it just caught me by surprise, and I figured I'd do this video. I know I'm extremely late. I'm about a month late with this review, but considering the fact that we live in a world where movies drop on video on demand quick and, and, and they're released on Blu-ray really fast, I figured maybe someone out there wants to know uh, whether the movie's worth watching or not. Maybe I'm hyping it up too much. I'd give this movie like an 8.5 eight out of 10, maybe a 9 out of 10. The first one, I remember thinking it was good. But I didn't think it was great. I feel like this one reaches a level of greatness just because of the comedy and and the fact that uh, we already know these people. You know, we're already familiar with these kids. We're already familiar with their background and what happened in the first one. I feel like that kind of helped this movie. But at the same time, this movie elevates the first one. Like, I'm really intrigued to watch the first one. And I think that I'm going to be picking that one up real soon. Um... And I'm looking forward to watching the first one. Uh, when I mean the first one, I mean the first one of this new reboot or whatever. I'm not talking about the first one, Robin Williams. I do feel like they continued the story well enough to consider this one the third one. But it's also good to, you know, kind of like I feel like the the Robin Williams one was the Robin Williams one. And it's the one and only. And they, they respected that. And then the second and third one are like, you know, over there. It's another version of it. It's it's not a reboot, but a, an extension and a continuation of something that was already great. And I feel like this one right here reached that level of greatness, even if the adventure wasn't as epic as you as you might have wanted or whatever. Because I know that there's people out there that might be like, Lex, this movie's not all that. Relax. Well, even if the movie, if you feel like the movie's not all that, you got to give credit where credit is due. And I think that the comedy in this movie was just outstanding. I couldn't stop laughing. I laughed so much. I had such a great time. And believe it or not, even though I saw it last weekend, which was about a month after it released, the theater was packed. We saw it in Orlando in the Cinemark Theater. We absolutely loved the experience with the recliners. We loved the fact that the theater was packed. Everyone was laughing with us. It was like hysterical. It was awesome. Great movie theater experience. Great adventure. Great comedy. And that's why I'm giving it the score that I gave it. And that's why I did this video. And I recommend you guys check it out. And let me know what you guys think down below. If you already saw it, maybe you didn't think it was all that great. Maybe I'm just riding the wave because I really love uh, Dwayne Johnson and I really enjoy Kevin Hart. Jack Black has been more likable to me than ever. And I just think that the movie, um, you know, it did a good job with uh, with what they were they, like. I feel like what they were trying to go for. They did a great job in that regard. You know, as far as other movies and shit like that, you know, the CGI, all that. It's a, it's a bunch of crap, but that's 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 irrelevant to what I'm talking about. So I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just wanted to sit down, kind of talk about it, go over it, show you guys uh, uh, little pieces of the movie by showing the trailer. Sony, Columbia Pictures, you guys did it. Continue pumping these out. I'm a fan. I can't wait to see the next one. And I can't wait to upload my next uh, unboxing. Hopefully, it's going to be the uh, Jumanji, uh, what's it called? Uh, Welcome to the Jungle. So... Peace out, YouTube, and I'll catch you on the next one.